my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. Like I promised in my last video, I put together a little quick sequence for you to help you get rid of that back pain that you may be feeling. I really recommend doing um, a practice like this at night because we're going to be holding some poses and it'll just get you a little more relaxed. But of course, it can always be done in the morning too to get your day started. With that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, I had to go change our quick that sweatshirt one. We'll do it. Let's go ahead and start at the front of your mat. I'm gonna hit mountain pose just to get a nice grounding feeling. So spread your toes out on both feet. All four corners should be on the ground, as in like your big toes, your pinky toes, both of the heels. Tuck your pelvis. Keep your lower abs and lower ribs tucked in. Let's go ahead and just lift your shoulders up to your ears. And on your exhale, think about poking your chest out a little bit and bring your shoulder blades down your back. So your palms will open towards the front. This position right here is good body alignment as far as your bones being stacked. So try to think about this alignment throughout every pose. Take one big inhale in, inside out. Go ahead, place both hands on your lower back. Squeeze your glutes, your butt. Go ahead and tuck your pelvis in. Keep your abs engaged. Lift your chest up. Try to think about lengthening your spine for a slight back bend. Keep breathing here and come back to neutral. I'm going to inhale both arms up and exhale, bend your knees both forward towards your toes. Walk your legs out. Now inhale, lift halfway up, place one hand down. You can pick your left hand to get started with if you want. And lift your right hand up towards the ceiling for a twist. Remember to keep length in your spine here and try to keep both hips square to the mat. And exhale, come back down. Place your right hand down or whichever one you weren't doing. And lift that other hand up towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. And go ahead and come down. Just wiggle it out a little bit. And then step back into tabletop position. Take your right hand, lift it up and place your palm down on the mat to where your fingers are facing you. Don't put too much pressure on it, just lightly rock back and forth. Kind of like warming it up, getting it lubricated because we have so many small bones and muscles there. Turn your hand around the other way so if the palm is now facing up. Now we'll go ahead and roll it out. Let's do the left hand. So palm down, fingers facing you, rock back and forth. Switch to where your palm is facing up. Now roll it out. This time place your hands down to where your thumbs are facing the front of the mat and your fingers are facing each side and just rock back and forth. Go ahead and place your hands back the way they normally are for cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest for cow. And exhale, tuck your belly in, round your upper back for cat. Inhale for cow, lifting your chest, keeping your abs engaged. Exhale for cat. Push the mat away from you. 
and one more inhale and exhale this time as you round up go back into child's pose well take your fingertips and just lift your arms where you're just on your fingertips walk your hands over towards the right side glue your left hip bone and really feel some lengthening going on, on that left side keep breathing and inhale come back to center exhale go towards the left side so now you'll have a big long stretch in your right side if you push your right hip bone to the ground. Inhale, come back to center. Take one big long stretch. And then exhale, come into tabletop. Adjust as you need to. Tuck your toes. Try to bring the insides of your elbows towards the front of the mat. Tuck your toes, keep your knees bent, and push up into downward facing dog. Once you feel like you have your back nice and straight, you're lifting your sits bones, everything is tucked in, then you can start walking your feet out. But keep them bent until you have your upper body situated. And trust me, it'll help. Just keep breathing through our first downward dog. Come up on your toes if you need to. Keep your knees bent if you need to. Whatever feels good. Now inhale, look forward, and just step in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bend both knees, fold forward. Inhale, lift all the way up, and exhale, arms lowered. Inhale, both arms up to the sky, and exhale, hands to heart. Bend at your knees and your waist, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, step back into high plank. Inhale and adjust. We'll take this first vinyasa slow. So on your next exhale, drop down to your knees, chest and chin. Inhale, lift your chest, come onto your forearms. First thing pose. And then exhale, tuck your toes, push into tabletop, and then downward facing dog. Walk it out here. Remember to keep your hands and your fingers wide. Your toes spread wide. Lift your sits bones. Keep your lower abs tucked in and your lower ribs. On your next inhale, look forward and either hop or step forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale, come all the way up. Hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, step back with your left foot for high lunge. Keep your pelvis tucked. Engage your left butt cheek. <laughs> and on an exhale, twist to the right side. So right arm is gonna go back and left arm is gonna go towards the front. Keep breathing, drop a little lower if you can. Now on your next exhale, take your left hand and just place it on the mat next to your right foot. A little deeper stretch. Right hand is still reaching up towards the ceiling. Keep length in your back and your hips square to the mat. Now on an inhale, keep everything engaged and slowly come back up. 
Swing your right arm down and come back to the center. Now straighten your front leg. Open your hips out to the side for warrior two. Bend into your front leg, which should probably be your right. Remember to keep your front knee pushed out a little bit. Don't let it sink in. And your back foot almost parallel to the back of the mat. Take your front palm, flip it around, place your left hand on your left thigh. And we're just going to slide backwards, reaching up with your right hand for a reverse warrior. Gaze to your right middle finger. Keep breathing. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Keep your arms in that T position. And lean forward towards your right. And place your right hand down on the mat beside your right foot for triangle pose. Left hand's reaching up to the ceiling. Can gaze at your thumb. And just go ahead and bend your right knee and come up onto, bring your elbow up on your knee. And we're just going to continue to lift and reach to the right side with our left hand for extended side angle. Remember to keep breathing here. Try not to collapse into your shoulders. Now go ahead and come back up into warrior two on your next inhale. Straighten both legs. Turn your right foot in. So now we're gonna be in a straddle position. Both hands on your hips. Keep your glutes, your abs, everything engaged and bend at your waist to start reaching down towards the floor. Keep breathing here and on every exhale, just try to soften your muscles and go down a little further. Take another little twist here. So lift up halfway, keep length in your spine. Left hand is gonna go in the center. Right hand lifts up. Keep your hips center, or, uh, squared to the mat. And replace your hands, right hand to the mat. Left hand reaches up. Keep breathing. And come back down. Now really engage everything, your back, your core, everything. Place your hands on your hips and just with control, slowly come back up. For the other side, go ahead and turn towards the left. So turn your left toes towards what will now be the front of your mat. Now let's turn our hips to the front of the mat. You can swing your right arm down and bring your right heel up for high lunge. Bend into your left knee. We're gonna keep your pelvis tucked here, keep breathing. On an exhale, take the left hand to the back wall, right hand to the front and take twist to the left. Next exhale, right hand goes down to the mat beside your left foot. Reach your left hand up and remember not to collapse into your right shoulder. Keep it engaged. Hips square to the mat. Next, inhale, engage everything and slowly come back up. Swing that left arm down and back up into a regular hot lunge. And then come up, readjust to the side for warrior two. Flip your front palm, back palm is on, resting on your leg. Inhale, lift up for reverse warrior. And we're gonna keep breathing. We'll 
come back to warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Lean towards the left wall. Gaze at your left middle finger and tip down, placing your left hand on the mat beside your left foot. Right hand up to the ceiling for triangle pose. Next inhale, bend your left knee, elbow rest on your left thigh, and continue to reach your right hand over towards the left wall for extended side angle. Really keep length here so you can feel your right side stretching out. Next inhale, come back up into warrior two. Straighten both legs and turn your left toes in this time for another straddle. Both hands on your hips and just go halfway down, back straight. Let's hold here for a second. Really feel that length. So reach the crown of your head towards the front of the room or towards the side, towards whichever way you're facing. Place both hands on the mat again, except this time we're going to walk over towards the right side. Left hand stays on the mat and for a little deeper twist, go ahead and bring your right hand up and try to twist up and over. Both hands down. Let's walk over to the left side. This time right hand stays on the mat, left hand reaches up. And back down. Come down to the center, walk your heels in. We're going to come into garland pose, bending both knees. And just come down as far as you can. And just really think about lengthening your lower spine right here. So tuck your tailbone, lift your chest, lift through the crown of your head, and just take a nice big deep breath in. And exhale. Both hands down on the mat. Go ahead and sit on your bottom. You can turn and face the other way if you want to, so then that way your full body will be on the mat. We're going to go for bound angle pose. So just let your legs relax, let your feet just fall open. And breathe in, lengthen your spine. And on an exhale, place both hands down and walk forward. Hinge at your waist. Try not to do a bend in your back. inhale come back up extend your right knee and bring your left foot over the top of your right thigh for a figure four pose you can stay here if this is a stretch enough for you or you can bring your right foot up like bend your right knee so you can bring your left foot closer to you hands can be relaxed on the mat or if you need a deeper stretch you can reach under your leg and grab behind your right thigh. Just remember to reach your, through the crown of your head and keep length. I know I keep saying that a lot, but it's just really important to get through these poses. Without adding more pain. All right, now put your hands behind you, but still keep your chest lifted and still keep engaged. Don't slouch down. You can walk your foot out a little bit in front of you and then just Drop your foot over to the right side. You get like a little funky twist here. And inhale, come back to center. Straighten your right leg and then also straighten your left leg in front of you. You can bend your knees here. We're gonna go for a forward fold. So inhale, Lift both arms up, and on an exhale, fold at your hips. Try to glue your chest and your stomach down to your thighs. 
Definitely remember to breathe here and soften on every exhale. This is great for your lower back and your hamstring. All right, go ahead and come back up. This time we're gonna place right foot over the top of your left thigh in that figure four. Bring your, or walk your left foot up towards you. So you can go underneath and grab onto that thigh for a deeper stretch. Place both hands behind you and let your foot drop over to the left side. Remember to keep your chest lifted. Inhale, come back up. Let's hit one more forward fold. Reach your arms up and exhale, go down towards your toes. back up and exhale relax go ahead and meet me in tabletop position one more time take your right hand lift it up on an inhale just for one more little twist now turn your left leg to where your foot is now on the side of the mat and straighten your right leg kick it out to the side now we're facing the side instead of the front for just one more side stretch. And on an exhale, place both hands down, push your toes back in, bring your left knee to your left hand and your foot's going to come towards your right, drop down into pigeon pose. You really want to keep your hips square here. so. If you need to put a block underneath you, go ahead and do that. If you're able to go all the way to the ground, work on getting your shin parallel with the front of the mat. So your knee can come out to the side a little bit. And then just come forward. A couple more deep breaths. On an inhale, go ahead and come back up. And just tuck your toes. Let's step back into your tabletop. Take your left hand, reach it up. Breathe and stretch. Now, right toes are going to turn out to the side. Left leg extends out to where you're now facing the side of the mat. The left hand is stretching and reaching over towards the right side. Now go ahead and place both hands down. Turn your toes back in to where you're facing the front of the mat again. Bring your right knee up towards your right hand. Foot goes towards your left hand. And then sit back into pigeon on the right side. Hips are squared off. Knees out towards the side a little bit so you can walk your shin forward. And on an exhale with a straight back, try to come forward. One more big deep breath in. And go ahead and come back up, tuck your toes, let's get back into tabletop position. Go ahead and reach your right arm up one more time. And this time thread the needle, so go under your left arm and come down onto your right shoulder. Inhale, use your left arm to push back up. Place your right hand back down. Now, next inhale, lift your left hand up to the ceiling. 
Exhale, thread it under the right arm. Come down onto your left shoulder. Hips are square with the mat. Inhale, use your right hand to push back up into tabletop. And then let's just come onto our bottoms. Legs out in front. Find that length in your spine. Bring your arms out in front of you and on an exhale, roll down. Keep everything engaged in your core and roll down to a lying position. One vertebra at a time. Wiggle out a little bit. Get your, your sits bones grounded to the mat. Inhale, right knee into chest. And on an exhale, drop it over towards the left side for a twist. Right hand goes out to the side and you can turn your cheek, your right cheek to the mat and gaze at your hand for a deeper stretch. Inhale, come back to center. Take your two peace on fingers on your right hand and grab onto your big toe. On an exhale, try to lengthen as much as you can and bring your chest up towards your knee. So reach your forehead towards your knee. Continue to breathe. Think about finding length on that right side. And exhale your head to the ground, but keep holding on to your foot. Grab onto it with your left hand this time. Right hand goes down to the ground. And just slowly pull it over towards the left side across your body. It's not going to go really far until you feel that nice big stretch going along the back and side of your thigh. Inhale, come back to center. Go ahead and grab onto the outside of your foot and bring your left knee in. Grab onto the outside of your left foot. Bend both knees for happy baby. So feet are facing up, knees are bent, and on each side of your body, you can rock back and forth here. Give your lower back a massage. Go ahead and extend your right leg out in front of you. Left knee comes to your chest. Squeeze it in nice and tight. And on an exhale, drop it over to the right side. Left hand goes out to the side. Gaze goes towards your left middle finger. Keep breathing. Inhale, come back to center. Grab onto your left big toe with your left peace on fingers. Extend your leg, engage your abs, and reach your forehead to your knee. Remember to find length in your left side. And exhale, relax your head down. Grab your big toe with your right two peace on fingers. Left hand to the ground and left foot goes across the body. Inhale, come back to center, bring both knees in, give them a nice big squeeze. Squeeze all of your muscles. And exhale, relax to the ground. We're going to take a short shavasana here. So just relax your whole body. Wiggle your hips out a little bit to where your, seat, your sit bones are on the mat. Let your shoulders come down your back instead of all up in your ears. Relax your hips to where your feet just fall out to the side. Fingers just curl in naturally. Still find that length in your lower back. So tuck your pelvis slightly, but enough to where 
you're able to still relax. Just do a quick body scan, starting at your toes. Let those relax. Your shins and your knees. Let your belly relax. I know we tend to hold it in tight throughout the day, but while you're laying here, just let it relax. Relax your chest, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Relax the little crease in your forehead. Relax your tongue away from your, the roof of your mouth. for that same amount of time and exhale for the same amount of time. five-minute Shavasana at the end of your practice is recommended. So feel free to continue to just relax and let your body take in everything you just gave it. Or if you feel ready, go ahead and wiggle your toes. Bring some awareness back. Wiggle your legs back and forth, your fingers. Keep your eyes closed. And go ahead and roll on to one side. Take one more big deep inhale in. And sigh it out. Use your top arm to help lift yourself up. Eyes can remain closed or you're more than welcome to open them slowly. Bring both hands to heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste. All right, I really hope that that was able to get you a little bit of relief of your back pain. Just always keep in mind to try maybe a little meditation to help coping with it a little bit. Do some deep breathing exercises. Remember, it's all about lengthening your spine throughout the day, not even just through your yoga practice. So always reaching the crown of your head up towards the sky and grounding your lower body through your giving that full length there. Go ahead and subscribe if you found this helpful. If you want to keep getting some yoga tips and some yoga flows, I'm still posting them at least once, sometimes twice a week, along with some self-care stuff on Sundays. So go ahead and check that out and hope everybody has a great weekend.